So today we're going to be creating our own Grand Canyon. I already did the layout before the experiment, so that everything's ready. The sand is going to represent the Grand Canyon. Make sure you have a large ruler or a stick or whatever you want as going to hold the red cup. You may use a red cup or a water bottle, whatever is your preference. I cut two holes. The first hole is at the bottom of the red cup right here. It's so the water can flow out gently downward. I also cut a large hole at the bottom of the pan right here so that the water can flow out. Make sure you have a bucket, something, a bowl that can catch the floating water, okay? We also notice that our Grand Canyon is elevated is so the water can flow directly downward. Now the water is gonna represent the Colorado River. So watch as I pour the water, what happens to the Grand Canyon for very little. Watch how it flows downwards. This is years of the, Grand, of the Colorado River making a hole in the middle of the Grand Canyon. It's going downwards. Some water might flow to the side and that's okay. I'm gonna do another bucket of water. There we go. So just simply watch how it flows downward. So this is years and years of erosion of water, the Colorado River eating away the Grand Canyon. So basically it's going, whoop, there we go. So this, pro this experiment demonstrates the process of erosion and weathering. The Grand Canyon was formed by the Colorado River after millions and millions of years of erosion and weathering. Other factors come into play like um, earthquakes or storms. We're just demonstrating the Grand Canyon's impact on it. There we go. You need to do this experiment at home if you want. You might need to get a little bit dirty and move away so that the hole can go through. There we go. And this little experiment demonstrates how the Grand Canyon was formed during the Colorado River. There we go.